today, a stolen golf cart, another damaged water fountain, and theft in Lot 10. That's all coming up right here on Spinnaker News. Hello Ospreys, I'm Annie Black and you're watching Spinnaker News on Spinnaker Television. A golf cart was stolen on March 6th and crashed on the walkway between the cove and the hall causing $800 worth of damage. The vehicle was reported stolen around 4 a.m. when the complainant left the golf cart outside of Building 5, the physical facilities building with the key still in the ignition. He came back roughly 35 minutes later and it was gone. There are no suspects in the case and the walkway has temporary repairs. Another water bottle, excuse me, water bottle filling station was vandalized on March 6th, making it the fourth one since they were installed last semester. This water fountain was fully ripped off of a wall on Building 3, also known as Skinner Jones Hall South. But a physical facilities employee says the water bottle, water bottle filling station could be reattached without much trouble. The damage was only $50 due to a small dent. And a car was burglarized in Lot 10 on March 6th, leaving one student without two phone chargers, a USB cable, a CD case, and an estimated $150 worth of recorded music and CDs. The car owner says she usually locks her car, but doesn't remember if she did in this instance. There was no damage to the car and no sign of forced entrance. There are no suspects and patrol efforts have been suspended. And it is time for weather with Lindsay. Let's see if it's going to be a nice day. Hey there, Ospreys. I'm Lindsay Kilbride with your Spinnaker News Weather Report. Make sure your headlines are working, headlights are working this morning because students planning on driving may experience patchy fog before 10 a.m. So I'm asking you all to be aware and take caution driving this morning. And although it may be a bit misty out today, set up to be, a, to be beautiful. After 10 a.m., the sun will stay out. Um, we, are, we will reach a high near 78 degrees by 2 o'clock. There is a 0% per chance, chance of rain and there will be a slight breeze. So, instead of ditching class for the beach, take advantage of the beautiful campus and get some homework done out on the green. Tonight, rain is forecasted after 1 a.m. And now more on the rest of the week and then back to Annie. Thanks, Lindsay. Now Christian is here to tell us all about sports today. What's up, Christian? Here we go. Hey there, Ospreys. I'm Christian Rue here with your Spinnaker Sports Report. The North Florida Sand Volleyball team claimed victories over FAU and South Carolina on the opening day of play at the UNF Sand Invitational being held at St. Augustine Beach Tier Pavilion. The Ospreys 2-0 got their third season of play started well, earning a tough 3-2 win over the Owls in their opening match, followed by a 4-1 decision over the Gamecocks. It was a historic match for South Carolina, who was making its collegiate debut at the Sand Volleyball Program. In addition to their matches in the UNF Sand Invitational, the Ospreys also met Flagler College in an exhibition match that UNF prevailed by a 4-1 score. Tournament action at the UNF Sand Invitational concluded Sunday with the North Florida Sand Volleyball team splitting a pair of matches against Louisiana Monroe and Florida State. Having successfully opened their 2014 slate, North Florida continues the season next at the Ron John Invitational on March 15th through 16th in Cocoa Beach, Florida. Well, that's what I have for sports today. Let's toss it back to Annie at the desk. Thanks, Christian. That's all for today on Spinnaker News. Remember, you can keep yourself updated and informed with all of the latest UNF news stories at unfspinnaker.com. Also, be sure to like the Spinnaker at Facebook at facebook.com slash unfspinnaker. And you can follow us on Twitter as well. It's at unfspinnaker. For Lindsay Kilbride and Christian Rue, I'm Annie Black. Have a great day, Ospreys.